I'm Julia Costello. Right now I'm in the studio working on my second album. I had a lot of fun experimenting with my new Hughes Kettner amp, the Grandmaster. Today in this video I'm going to show how I'm using Grandmaster's MIDI functionality with Pro Tools. So we'll start with MIDI connections, Pro Tools session setup, creating a Pro Tools session template, which you can download from my website. Then I'll program the controllers and I'll play one of my new instrumental pieces. It's fun to play when all the switching, all the amp switching uh, is done from Pro Tools without even touching my foot switch. So here he's in getting a foot switch. We have Brodel's interface connected to the MIDI in of the foot switch. That's a standard 5 pin MIDI connector. And we have the amp connected to the MIDI out of the foot switch. This is a 7 pin connector that also transfers phantom power from the amp. This is very cool because you can use both uh, switching from Pro Tools. If you also need to use a foot switch, you can do it. The best thing about it is that all the presets are stored in the Pro Tools session with the song you're playing. So you can program a bunch of songs for a live set and forget about programming the amp or carrying your own amp. You can come to the gig with your laptop and have all the switching done directly from Pro Tools. Okay, let's create a new session. We can choose to create it from the template straight away or the fastest way to get your MIDI tracks into the session is using import session data dialog. Here we go. Choose all the tracks. Here you can choose to import tempo meter map, key signature, markers, memory locations, window configurations. Here we go. Cool! Also make sure you have Grandmaster selected for the MIDI output of the tracks. And you have MIDI Studio set up correctly. I use an AW2 rack. Here's our Grandmaster. And for live playbacks I'm using an Inbox Pro. It's pretty convenient to carry and it's firewire, it has good converters and it has enough channels for everything. You can run playbacks, I can root click to the drummer and it also has a MIDI output that we use to control Grandmaster. It's very cool. So you can see I'm using two tracks for the amp power settings. One is for live, one is for recording. I also have copied all the controller numbers and value ranges into the comment section of all the tracks. You can find this info in the Grandmaster manual, of course, but you don't need to enter it manually, it's all here for reference. So what you need to do is set up tracks view to the controllers you want to automate. So here we'll need controller number 30, this one is the same, controller 30. This one is number 31. You see I have uh, actually added controllers already to each track in addition to the basic ones, but if you do not see the control number you need, you can always choose add remove controllers and find the one you need. How cool is that? We are done. We can save our session. So we are now ready to program the settings. Automation programming is very fast and efficient. You can use the MIDI controller and one of the Brotal's automation modes, or you can use pen tool to draw automation, like gain or volume, any way you like it. Here's a quick example of what you can do with the automation. I'll be automating gain, volume and reverb level.
If it's pretty easy with continuous controllers, there are settings for which you can only have on or off state. In this case, you divide 128 by 2 to get the ranges of values. So it, it doesn't really matter which value you choose, as long as it is within the range. This is going to be off and this is going to be boost on, I believe. If it's channel switching, we have four value ranges. We divide 128 by 4. Power sock switching, we divide 128 by 5. You can download the session from my website and have fun playing. Now let's have a look at my live playback session. So I have the basic tempo map reprogrammed. I have imported MIDI tracks with Grandmaster controller settings. MIDI output set up to Grandmaster. Make sure we have the automation mode set up to read. You might have noticed I used two tracks for Grandmaster's power settings. One is for live and one is for recording set up to the silent mode. I just mute one I'm not using right now. I will be using two Grandmaster outputs. I also do it for recording. I use Grandmaster's red box out with all the effects. I also get the signal without effects from Grandmaster's effects sent routed through red box to my audio interface. I have pre-programmed the basic settings for all the tracks and one song is done in detail. So the tracks are imported with all the controls if you have them pre-programmed. Different gain, boost on off. We have channel switchings. This is ultra, this is lead. You see, it doesn't really matter which value you choose if it is within the range. We have mod effects, changing modulation intensity and speed. And here is course and flanger switching. Song tempo is changing and I had to change the delay time. Here I'm doing some fun stuff with delay. I would normally do that in the studio with plugins automation. With Grandmaster you can also do it live. What I'm doing, I'm raising delay level at the end of the phrases, so I only have the last notes or the last group of notes repeated. 